At what point in time do you realize that you're just no longer being listened to? For the National Council of Canadian Muslims, that time has come already. Hundreds of Muslim Canadian leaders are in Ottawa to mark the seven-year anniversary of the Quebec City mosque shooting. They say they've met with other major party leaders, but they won't meet with Justin Trudeau over what they allege is a lack of action on rising Islamophobia in Canada and the federal government's position on the war in Gaza. This game that we're playing of trying to find who's the good guy and who's the bad guy is costing thousands of lives. We're not going to kill our way out of this conflict. This has been going for three generations. The international community needs to get serious about stopping the violence in the Middle East once and for all. The NCCM was joined by other Muslim leaders who say they've become increasingly disillusioned by the federal government. The NCCM says Islamophobia is at its highest since it began recording data. The group says Muslim Canadians can't understand Canada's rejection of the International Court of Justice or the suspension of Canada's funding to UNRWA, the United Nations Relief Organization, over Israel's allegation that some staff had Hamas connected I cannot imagine anyone devaluing human life to this extent. Where is our humanity? Where are, what are we thinking? What's happened to us? The, the sad thing is that Palestinian lives actually do not matter. Inside the House, though MPs observed a moment of silence and some wore the Green Square to commemorate the Quebec City Mosque Massacre, little time for questions on the Middle East or the situation of Muslims in Canada, with questioning focused on the carbon tax. He wants to tax the heat and the food of Canadians. Did he pay the full carbon tax on each of the 100 tons of emissions that he put into the atmosphere as part of his $80,000 vacation? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, the Conservative leader has simply no plan to address climate change in this country, no plan to increase the resilience of our communities in the fight against climate change. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.